Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel. Please leave your thumbs up and please leave your comments. First, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel. You allow me to do this. Thank you so much. Y'all, we could be seeing a 500 reoccurring stimulus check in the future and it will have no income limits. We'll talk about that in a minute, but I want to cover a few other things first. Okay. A couple of people has left in the comments saying that there will not be another stimulus package. Let me explain the difference between a stimulus package and a stimulus check. Okay, a lot of people are saying there won't be a stimulus check, and it very well could not be, but I really believe there will be. But a stimulus package and a stimulus check are two very different animals. A stimulus check is a paper check or a direct deposit that they send to your bank account. Free money, which is not free. Somebody is paying for it. Okay, a stimulus package is anything else that they put in their infrastructure, uh, free daycare, uh, unemployment boost, a raise for Social Security, if that ever happens. All of that is a stimulus package. A stimulus check and a stimulus package is two different things. So, I wish people would understand that. A lot of times when we're talking about stimulus, they take it as we're talking about a stimulus check. No. Any of these packages that they're passing is stimulus. So, yes, there will definitely be 100%. I can say, I can put my life on this. There will be another stimulus package. A stimulus check? I'm not putting my life on that, but I feel confident it will be. Okay, scammers. Okay, if you ever see, I've seen many of them and I've reported them all, people using my name and my picture asking you to call them, text them about Bitcoin, go to this link about Bitcoin. Y'all, I will never tell you anything about Bitcoin because I totally hate any of those cryptocurrencies. I feel like if you're American, you should be using American greenback dollars. These cryptocurrencies is just undermining the American dollar. So I have no time for them. I hate all of them. But I did get a notice from YouTube, and I'm sure all other YouTubers did too, that their subscribers over the next few days will be going down a little bit because they're purging all of those fake accounts. Now, that's great. Uh, I don't want my subscribers to go down, but I want them to be real subscribers also. But the thing about this, it took YouTube so long to do anything about this, and now they're going to do it. Well, this is not going to stop anything because they're going to be purged and got out. Well, they're going to just open another account and do it all over again. But if y'all ever see any of these in my comments, just know it's not me. The Democrats are still saying that they will pass this package with reconciliation without the Republicans. Well, when they're going to do it? How long have they been saying they're going to do it? Let's get it done. Every time it gets to the deadline that they give the Republicans, somebody changes the deadline. This time it was President Biden gave them another week. Let's go ahead and get it passed so we can move on to the family, the American Families Plan. That's where the stimulus checks could come. They're not in there right now. Don't even think that I'm telling you they are because there are no stimulus checks in there, but that's where they could be added. Nancy Pelosi was asked if they can get this passed through reconciliation with people like Joe Manson. She shrugged her shoulders. She says, he will come around. He will fall into line. Well, Nancy, I'm not as confident as you are with that. I don't think Joe Manson has got a lick of sense in his head. Uh, sometimes I wonder about you, Nancy. But I don't see that happening. Uh, 
not easily and not fast anyway. The feds, remember they're the ones that kept saying, borrow this money, borrow this money. They are printing money like crazy. They've been trying to just throw money out. They kept saying that they will keep inflation rate around 2%. Now's the time to take this money is what they said. Well, the feds admitted they was wrong. And now the inflation for the month of May is 6%, the highest it's been in decades. Housing is up, gasoline prices is up, utilities is up, food is up, everything is going up. Thanks a lot, Federal Reserve. Y'all, I see this I see the Federal Reserve as the new drug dealer on the block, and money is the drug. Here, take this. You want this. It will do you good. It's free. Y'all, no money is free. Somebody pays for it, and the bottom line this time, we're all paying for it. Every time you go to the gas pump, every time you go to the grocery store, every time you pay your power bill, Every time you pay your rent, you're paying for it with inflation. Just because they say it's free does not make it free. Camilla Harris, vice president, is being begged to come down to the border wall to see how bad things is getting down there. It's been bad since day one, but it's getting worse every day. Y'all, Camilla Harris was appointed the czar of the border wall. She's in charge of everything down there. But she won't even go see it. She won't even go look at it face to face and see what's going on. What a joke she is. She's the czar of the border wall. She should be down there at least once a month checking things out. I think Camilla Harris is the biggest, funniest joke America has ever told. And if we're not careful, she will be our next president. We spend an average of $392 per day on these Ill Ill illegal immigrants at the wall, at the border. And the American people can't even get a stimulus check. We spend this amount of money on them every day. And $392, they can't even give that to the American people. Y'all, on average, they spend $72,000 a year on these illegals. What would the American people do with that kind of money? I say these illegals, don't house them down there. Don't ship them to other states like Tennessee in the cover of darkness. Don't do that. Load them up and send them back where they came from. Immediately. Don't wait. Don't do no paperwork. Don't do nothing. Put them on a bus. Take them back. Let them come over here legally. And the American government, please help them come over legally but they have to be legal. I mean, the first thing they're doing when they cross the border is breaking the United States law. Is that the kind of people we want here? Help them come legally. Okay, the $500 stimulus check that I told you at the beginning of the video, it could happen. Elon Omar of Minnesota said it is time to seriously consider sending everyone of $500 a month and every month after that until the pandemic is deemed over. Y'all, there are some lawmakers right now that are saying that the pandemic is over now. I don't know if it is or not. I know things are getting better. These checks would be for everyone across the board no matter your income. There is no income limit on this proposal. 
But remember, y'all, it's just a proposal. AOC, Ayanna Presley, and Rashana, I can't pronounce her last name, but if you notice all of these names that I'm calling off, none of them are American names, but they are lawmakers. But all of these people will back this proposal. Will it get any traction? I don't think so, uh, just to be honest with you. It would be nice, but then the problem comes with this. How is it going to be paid for? Free money is not free. Somebody pays for it. And normally, it's the American people. Whether you've got a job and paying in income tax or if you just go to the grocery store and buy something, you're paying for these free programs. So I wish people would forget the notion that it's free because nothing is free. And again, this is just a proposal that they're drawing up. Nothing is set in stone. But it could very well happen. Y'all sound off in the comments below. Let me know what you think about all this garbage. Please sound off to your lawmakers. Let them know exactly how you feel about the job they're doing and mainly the job that they're not doing. I don't see them doing much of a job across the board. Also, keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through all this stuff, and I don't think it will be much longer. I really believe that Jesus Christ has already provided a way. We just have to figure out what that way is. He's not going to force himself on us. We have to reach out and open the door to his love and grace. I love you all. Until next time, ciao.